to Little Rain Cooking, where the kids get to do the cooking and the grown-ups get to do the eating. Well, hmm. actually, it's the other way round. Hmm? The grown-ups cook and the children eat. Mm -mm. We are going to be making some delicious blueberry pancakes today. They're so yummy. Okay, so according to our recipe, we need 150 grams of plain flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, three pinches of salt, 150 milliliters of milk, one egg, 30 grams of caster sugar, as many blueberries as you can spare, and some maple syrup as an optional. Mummy. Now I have laid out all of my ingredients in the order that we're going to use them, just to help me remember what we need. Mummy. And we have a sieve and a mixing bowl wooden spoon, whisk, measuring jug, and over there we have our large frying pan with the butter ready to go, the ladle, and the spatula. And no more blueberries, sorry. Okay, so we are going to start making our pancakes. So Charlotte's going to read out instruction number one. Side. Okay, so we have to sieve our flour first. So we need 150 grams of flour. So pop that on your scales and make sure it says zero to start off with. Now we don't push it down with our fingers, otherwise we're going to measure our fingers and not have enough flour. So we need 150 milligrams. 150 grams. Milliliters is for liquids and grams is for things like flour. I was just going to ask that question. Well, that would have been a good question. Yeah, how much have we got? 151? We can have one or two extra grams, that's fine. And so we've got the flour and the baking powder. And we need one teaspoon of baking powder. Now do you remember what the baking powder does to it? No. It makes little carbon dioxide bubbles, which makes your butter go light and fluffy. And what else do we need? A little bit of salt. So we're going to add in three pinches of salt. We don't want too much in there because it would just be a bit... I think it would be very nice. We don't want too much salt. So one two, three, there we go. What did that taste like? Yeah. A bit salty. So generally, as we're cooking, we get to try all of our ingredients, don't we? But what are the two things that we don't, we don't eat it? Raw eggs <laughs> and raw meat. So we make sure that we've cooked yeah. through them all first. But otherwise, I always encourage you to try your food mm. first. Now, we've both got our aprons on because we don't want to get ourselves too grubby, but also we don't want bits of Mommy, us getting into the food. I got some flour. Okay, did you want to finish sieving that off in there for me? That's it. Now, when we're sieving, we're just giving it like a gentle tap or a gentle shake. And that just makes sure that we don't have big lumps in our flour, but it also helps to make it nice and light and fluffy. Yeah, it does look quite light and fluffy. It does look. I think it looks like snow. Yeah. How high up can you do it without it going everywhere? And how high up can you do it without it going well, everywhere? How, how high? That high? That's pretty high. How high? Can okay, we'll drop it down a bit lower again. How high? Yeah, well, cool. that was as high as my arms could go. Was well, it as high as your arms could go? Mm -hmm. I don't think I would do that because I probably would get it all on your head. <laughs> okay, now we need some caster sugar. Now, how much caster sugar do we need? 30 grams, and we need to stir this in with a wooden spoon. I'm going to sieve this as well because this has got a few lumps in it. We don't want lumpy sugar. And it shows on there that it's a lump. It does. Does it show you? Are you a lump? I'm not. Okay, that should be about 30 grams. Let's give that a shake in. Stop. That was a bit more, so that's 33 grams in there. Now with this recipe, you don't need to use quite as much sugar if you don't want it to be that sweet. Or you can look into the alternative sugars. So you're going to give that a stir, mix that through. This one. Horrible, yeah. my blueberry's gone. 
not really going to be blueberry pancakes without blueberries, Mommy. are they? Okay, give it a whirl, mix it all together. Mummy, you know you have extra blueberries. That's lucky, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so next we're going to crack our egg. Now what I do with the eggs, especially with little ones, and kids get cracking the eggs, you hold it a bit on its side and you go knock, 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 and you'll hear that it goes a bit different. And I'll bring this closer to the camera. So what it does, it makes a nice line in there. I wish that I could balance it for you. You get your thumbs in. Last time I did this, it went all over the floor. So get your thumbs in, like that, and then just Pull it open. Oh, I almost always crack my eggs into a different container first, just in case some shell gets in. And the easiest way to get shell out is get a bit of water on your finger before you try to pull it out, because it will stick to your, your finger instead of the side. Okay, so crack an egg into the bowl. We need to add some milk into there, so let's pop this on the scales. Yeah. Well done. Let's zero that off. And then, now what did I say we measure liquids in? Is it grams? Grams or millilitres for liquids? Three seconds. So 150 millilitres. Yeah. More? Yeah, because it's only 40. Mummy, can I? Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. 115. 125. Nearly there. Why not? There we go. I'm going to put the milk straight back in the fridge so it stays nice and cool. Now Charlotte is just breaking up the egg in there and mixing that together. I think it's Ray Crack. Yeah, it's already mixed in there? Okay. No, it's Ray Crack process. Oh, okay. Now what you want to do is make a nice little hole in there. Hey, that's what I was doing. Oh, well, you that. Well, there we go. You gave me a clue. Are you going to pour that into the mixture for me? Oh, did that look as slimy for you? Now, can we pick that up again? Gross. Personally, I like the sliminess. Charlotte doesn't, though. Okay, pour that in. Woo, lakey! That looks great. Now, can we give that a mix with a wooden spoon? Oh, don't you take it. Now, we haven't added the blueberries in yet because we want to make sure we really stir and mix through this bowl and make sure we don't have any surprise lumps of flour because when we bite into our pancakes, we don't want to just have little bits of flour in our mouth. Ew. Make sure it's all combined. Okay. And how's your mixing at home? Have you got really strong arms to help you with mixing? Mommy, yeah. this looks a bit like porridge. It's a bit like it's because all the flour is still lumpy. We need to make sure that we mix it hey! so it's not lumpy like porridge. That's okay, you can bite it if you don't necessarily see. No, I got it off myself. Okay. See, this fortunately for me isn't too messy in the recipe, but at the end of it, we can see who's got the messiest fingers. May I have a turn, please? Apparently not. So if you're sharing making this, make sure that you all get a good turn at mixing. May I have a turn, please? Just a little one. Yes, please. Oh, I got slimed on my fingers as well. Yeah, so we give that disgusting. a good stir. You're correct, it is disgusting. <gasps> Did I nearly squish your fingers under there? Oh, I've got flour on my book. Okay, now shall we add in some blueberries? We're going to add in half of these. The blueberries, when they cook, they just get such a lovely sweetness to them. Once you've got your blueberries in, don't mix it really hard. We're basically just folding them through. Wow, there are some super fatty little blueberries in here. Let's pour some more in there. We love the blueberry pancakes. When you bite into the blueberries, they might be hot when they first come off the stove, but we think they just add some lovely sweetness. Hi guys, 
sometimes have blueberries with love, yogurt. Yeah. So now we're at our cooking stage. It is so important because it's so hot, it melts the butter. What we don't want it to do is melt our skin as well. So it's always, always super important. To wear gloves. Well, yeah, to have uh, protection, like oven gloves and things on. We've got nice aprons on at the moment as well, which also give us some protection. But we are going to pop a little nodule of butter into the pan. Now, once butter gets hot in the pan, it might fizzle a little bit. Mummy, you need this one. Do I? That's for getting the baking trays out with. Oh. Charlotte says that she thinks some of the blueberries look like giant bubbles in there. What does your mix look like? Does it have giant bubbles in there too? Oh. Giant blue bubbles. Or oh, are they mm. little peas <gasps> if you have baby ones? What else do you think? What other fruit could you put in here, Charlotte? I don't think peas as a vegetable would be very Bananas? Nice oh, you can put bananas on top of the pancakes at the oh. end. What else do you think? Do you think you could do strawberries? Do you think they'd taste okay? Um, not really. They would be too hot. Ah, well the blueberries do and come out quite warm as well, don't they? So for this bit, we need a ladle. A little, little. Ladle? And a spatula. Okay. No, no, no. We're going to put our blueberry mixture in there now. So you need just a small ladle spoon. It depends on how greedy you want to be. If you've got lots of people wanting pancakes straight away, I would suggest doing little ones so they can all get one at the start. There we go. Would you like to spoon one out? Mm -hmm. Okay, where are you going to put yours? I can you see a nice big space there? Yeah. There we go. Perfect. That's fantastic. Now Charlotte did a really good thing. She kept the ladle nice and low there so it didn't flick the butter up everywhere. There we go. You happy with that? No, it's not flick, flicking it everywhere. There we go. Mine has the most blueberries. So now, that's how I remember what oh, that's yours. How many blueberries do you have in yours? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many in mine? Is that one yours? Yeah, I'll have that one. Three. Home. And who's the spare one for? Nana? Four. There's four in Nana's. There we go. So this is what you're looking for. You're going to start getting some bubbles in there. The edges will also start to look a bit different. See that's sliding all the way around? Mm. See that's not sliding because that's not ready yet. And then we want to flip it. We'll flip it. Shake, shake. Shake some order. I want it. Shake, shake, now that shake was too more. soon. Oh, I wonder if your pancakes will do the same. I think I'd split in half. But as Charlotte says, at least I get two pancakes now. And it can be like peek boo. So what we're going to do is see if we can slide under that one. Flip it and over. Flip it over. Mine was the biggest one. So. It was the biggest one. Should I try my next half? Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. that looks much better. Let's try mine. This one? Okay. No, not my next. Is it not ready? I'd so we're going to have a look at the bubbles and see how bubblicious they are. Oh, you can see a little bit of blueberry starting to explode. And that's what I love that one. Bad. That's my baby. Oh, we don't put fingers too close. I know. I didn't. So we're going to do some flipping. Flip. Charlotte, would you like to try to flip this one? Why are you going to flip that one, are you? I thought you meant that. Oh, they connected. There. Flip this one, flip this one. Okay. Oh! Scotia! Scotia! Great. Scotia. That was flipping good, Charlotte. <laughs> hey, Mummy, I'm gonna flip these bits. Flip that big one. Flip. Yep, so oh get rid of Oh my gosh, yeah. That shake, shake, shimmy, shimmy, and under. Whoa, 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 oh no. Can't push that one away, push it away. I can't. There we go. His way, his way now. His Mommy, way now. That one's on. Flip, doesn't matter. Okay, and flop. Yes. Mummy, that one's on there and it might cook together. Oh, okay, we'll just push it off. Control measures. Okay, flip the others. The two together. Do the two know? together. I feel bad at doing you this. You feel nervous? That's okay. It's always good to feel oh, a bit nervous. They, 
Okay, so this is how delicious look. they look. <gasps> Can you hear the blueberries popping? Yes, look. Shh, listen. Okay. <laughs> so while you're waiting for these to really crisp up nicely and for some of the blueberries to pop, get what? your plates ready and some forks as well. Or and you can plate it in the sitting room. Or you could go and plate it, but I don't recommend leaving it for too long. Yeah. Depends on how long your game of it goes for. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to. Mummy, those are blueberry. I'm going to stack them all on the same plate. Oh. No. My oh, yum. Yeah, because we're going to cook the next batch because we've only used about half of our mixture. Now, if you wanted to, you could have a plate that can go into the oven and keep them nice and warm. Mm -mm. But no, we're going to wait for them to cool we're down too a little greedy. bit. Greedy! We are too greedy. <laughs> so let's get our next back batch can of I, mixture. Can I'm I do so my excited one? about pancakes, I can barely speak properly. Mummy, can I do my one? Do you want to do some flipping in this bit? No, can I do my one? You can make four in there. Would you two smaller scoops on the other side? Oh, not that tiny. That's going to be a little um, nice and low. There we go. I know I like little Lovely. tiny ones. That's it. Don't don't swirl it around. Otherwise, all those little bits are going to get burnt. There we go. Yeah, just drop that next to it. Oh. Now Charlotte has just made Ugh. what looks more like a big blueberry with a little bit of pancake around it. So again, we're going to pause on the recording while these cook. You let yours cook as well. <laughs> oh, grumpy. Are you grumpy too? Or just us? Yeah. <laughs> so let them get nice yeah. and crispy, turn them over, yeah. press pause, and then when you're ready to come back, yeah. we'll see what our pancakes look like. It's so good, someone can't wait. How about you? Have you already snuck a sample? Let's see how these are doing underneath. <gasps> they are looking fantastic. Oh my gosh, cooking just makes me so happy. And the fact that you get to have yummy things in your tummy afterwards. Yeah. How does cooking make you feel? Sometimes it makes Charlotte feel nervous or anxious. Scared. Yeah. But most of the time really happy and hungry. I always feel really hungry just as I'm about to start cooking. Yeah, they look good. Let's get yeah, them out. Yeah, that looks now, good. Now remember, your pan is going to still be scorching hot. But we'll get these. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. It's hot. And do you know what? With the last bit in the bowl, <gasps> I'm going to make a giant pancake. There's barely only about three or two Pan Only about three, three or two three. in there. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five. Wow. Mummy, that was burning. That it's okay, burning. it's okay. Spreading, spreading, spreading. It is spreading. Shall we show everyone how big it is? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Is it still spreading? I think so. Is it getting bigger? Yeah. Is it getting bigger? Yeah. Is it getting bigger? Yeah. Bigger. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Thank you so much for joining me today in our cooking fun. I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I did and you'd like sharing your success with family and friends or maybe you'd like to just keep it to yourself. If you would like to join me making some more fun recipes, please subscribe to my Little Run Cooking YouTube channel. Um, please also visit the website www.littlerencooking.co.uk or my Facebook page, also Little Run Cooking. And let me know if there are any recipes that you'd like to have a try together um, or if you'd like to pop up any of your photos from your amazing dishes that you've been making um, to share with the rest of the Little Rent community. Okay, hope to see you all soon and happy cooking. Bye.